and welcome to Good News Friday. Mike Simon is here. I'm Joy Yarbrough. Happy Friday, everybody. Thanks so much for giving us some time to talk and to visit as we appreciate so much our existing partnerships throughout the 2200 plus cities that we serve. And Mike, we're having some really good conversations as if you'll give us a chance to visit with you. Really, our goal is to hear where you are where your plans and vision for the future is, because we want to go with you. Uh, would you mind if we tag along here at Simon Solutions? Because as we see this, it really is a partnership, and we're in, in with you as to the important work that you do from how that you use, collect data and information. Let's face it, this can be a game changer if you're collecting this information there, you're going to be able to effectively work with your clients better, working with them from the place of transition, transformation, being able to report all of this important information and make better, more informed decisions. Mike, uh, we've had some really great conversations. I'm thinking from Tia down in Selma. Uh, we had a great conversation with Julie and Elkhart uh, over this past week. Now, this is our goal here at Simon Solutions. We want to visit with you. We want to talk with you. Your work is very important to us. And hearing more about that, uh, we want to see if we can better serve, if we can work with you. Maybe some training. Training is a big thing right now as we have staff changes to turnover is constant. Let us help you. And we want to visit with you. It's important to us here. Well, and I'm thinking about the, the highlight of the week is with, with Tracy Dill in Nashville. She is a person who realizes the value and benefits yes. of Charity Tracker. And she's in a strategic position with the United Way. And uh, she's rally rallying all her people she can in the Nashville area, but beyond the Nashville area. And so it's, it's a wonderful network being established in Nashville, Tennessee and the surrounding areas. And it, it's well worth the effort to come and talk with us. Yeah. And let us tell you what Tracy is doing and, and how you can do it in your community as well. Uh, we've learned a lot from Tracy, uh, just seeing the work that she has done there and the impact that she's having in Nashville. And now reaching out and understanding that, you know, the, the work that she is doing, this can impact various communities that surround in Nashville and Davidson County. They're even bringing in counties like Robertson, uh, working with the good folks there in Clarksville, bringing in Dixon County, working with Renee Baum over there in Dixon County. It's exciting seeing what Tracy is doing because now we're not just talking about a city-wide collaborative focused in on the data collection and working together, sharing information. Now we're talking about a regional. Now we're talking about potentially a statewide type of collaboration. But here's the thing, Mike, and we've talked about this before. How do you effectively bring in a statewide collaborative? Well, you've got to focus still, though, on what is relevant. And when we get into what that looks like, that's county by county by county. And Tracy gets it. She's focused in on the counties, the, the focus on that area, if you will, that's relevant as we're working. We're talking about sharing information. We start there and then we work our way up. But it's a step by step. It's grassroots. Sometimes it's hard. Let's face it. It's not easy sometimes, but it is so well worth it. And I think Tracy can attest to this because she's seeing the progress. She's seeing the results. And Mike, when we talk about how to effectively do this, you know, you and I, we're listening, we're watching, and we're seeing success there with people like Tracy, who's understanding how to do this. And so we're just learning. We're learning from that educational dynamic, but we want to impart this to you. So uh, we're, we're, we're finding out more. And as we do, promise you, we're going to let you know what we're, what we're learning here. And we do so. Uh, by telling other people's stories. Exactly. You can find yeah. that at collectivecommunityimpact.com. Yeah. That's collectivecommunityimpact.com. And you'll see all the stories that are developing across the country. You get to see some videos. You yes. get to see some how-to training videos. And you get the series that shows you how to maximize the collective caring power of your community. And uh, 
I know this is new, uh, but Joey is having conversations every day. Yes. With someone out there who wants to know more about this. And, 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 and it's kind of like the light bulb goes on and they go, I did not know I could <laughs> do this. Yes. And you go, yes, you can. And now you, you can do this. You can marshal their, all the resources in your community and make them more effective and powerful. And that's worth talking about. It sure is. We love to talk. We love to visit with you. These stories are inspiring. And uh, frankly, we just feel it our goal to share these stories with others as the success as we're seeing here uh, in the various communities. We've all got to work together and you're stronger and you're better together. You know that. And so Charity Tracker, Oasis Inside just allows the forum to do what it is that you want to do anyway. And that's share and work together. Uh, and it is so inspiring. Uh, it's just, you know, great to visit with you. So if you like the opportunity to talk with us, hey, just go to our website, it's charitytracker.com, oasisinsight.com. There's a place there where you can visit with us and book a demo, or you can, of course, uh, just block off some time uh, to speak with us a little bit about your goals. We would love to know where you are, where you see the future there within your community. And it's uh, those inspiring stories from people like Tracy, who's uh, just bringing this in, and Tia from Selma. So a quick story, Mike, uh, Tia, she hadn't seen the client broadcast capability. And we shared that with her and just kind of updating her on the development that's going on, always going on here at Sonic Solutions. And she was absolutely ecstatic because now texting, I think everybody's texting nowadays, and she saw her capability of texting her clients, being able to generate a report, but be able to effectively send a message through text, through Charity Tracker to the clients that she's working with. Because let's face it, we got to keep updated. We got to be able to work from that perspective of information and be able to keep everyone on the same page. And that's what Tia was so excited about. Uh, there's a lot of information she wants to continuously impart to her clients. And so now she's going to be able to do that inside of Charity Tracker. These are the kinds of conversations that we would love to have with you. We want to empower you to use the features in Charity Tracker. And of course, if we can answer any questions or training, uh, we're all about it here. So please give us a call. CollectiveCommunityImpact.com. Uh, there's a wealth of information there for you. A uh, treasure trove, if you will, of uh, a lot of data and statistics that we've been tracking throughout the years of our work here. 16 years going on. Uh, we just uh, reached uh, just another milestone there of our work. And uh, we appreciate so much, everyone, for giving us your time, your faith and vision uh, for your work there in your communities. For Mike Simon, I'm Joey Arbor. For all of us here at Simon Solutions, take care, everybody. Have a great weekend.